In this video, we're going to take a look at how we can come up with the equation of a line based on the graph or information about the graph. To kind of set this up, I want to look at this quick sketch here. Nothing really fancy about it. There's this graph going like this, and a couple key points that I want to look at on the graph. One of them is right here where the graph crosses the y-axis. We call that the y-intercept. At the y-intercept, we don't know what the y-value here is on the graph, but we do know the x is 0. There's no left and right movement. It's just 0 left and right, and then up or down to the point b, I'm going to call it. b represents the y-value of the y-intercept. Then I'm going to pick some other random point up here. We don't know anything about it, so I'm just going to give it a random x, y pair. And we're going to say the 0, b, that's the first point, and the x, y, that's the second point. And we know then that the slope is y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1 is going to equal the slope, which we use m. Well, if I start to plug values in here, y2, y from the second point is y, minus y1, minus b, over x2, which is x, minus x1, which is 0, must equal m, or the slope between the two points. You might notice x minus 0 in the denominator, that's just x. So we could have just said y minus b over x equals the slope. And what I want to do is we're going to solve this equation for y, like we solved formulas in the previous unit. We need to get rid of the fraction by multiplying both sides by x. And that's going to give us, I'm running out of space, so I'm going to move over here, y minus b equals mx. And then if I add the b to both sides to get the y alone, we end up with this equation, y equals mx plus b. This is going to be our big, important equation to remember the equation of a line. If we know the slope, which is our m value, and b, which is the y-coordinate of the y-intercept, we can come up with an equation, y equals the slope times x plus the y-intercept, and we'll have the equation of the line that we're working with. Maybe it would help to put some numbers to it. In this first example, we want the equation of a line with a slope of negative 3 fourths and a y-intercept of 2. Well, if we want the equation of a line, very important, we see equation of a line, that's y equals mx plus b. We should have that memorized. The slope, we're told, is negative 3 fourths. Slope, we represent with the letter m. So the m can be replaced with the negative 3 fourths. So we have y equals m, the negative 3 fourths, x plus b. Remember, b is the y-intercept. The y-intercept is 2, so we'll replace the b with the y-intercept of 2. The equation y equals negative 3 fourths x plus 2 is a line, when we graph it, that has a slope of negative 3 fourths and a y-intercept of 2. We can even work backwards from the graph. If we look at this graph in example 2, it should say example 2, we just need to look at this graph and quickly identify the slope and y-intercept. You might notice we've got one point here on the y-axis, this important point, that's our y-intercept. The y-intercept is at negative 1. b is equal to negative 1. To find the slope, we just need another point on the graph. We might pick this one up here, at negative 3, comma 1. And to find the slope, we count that we rise negative 2, and we run 3 to get to the next point. So the slope is negative 2 thirds. 
pulling that information off the graph, what's the rise over run, what's the y-intercept, and we know that y equals mx plus b. Okay, so y equals m, the slope, which we found out was negative two-thirds, times x plus the y-intercept, which is negative one. Instead of saying plus negative one, I'm just gonna subtract one. And this is the equation that corresponds with the graph in our example. This equation can generate any point on the graph. For example, if we looked at this point on the graph, the x value there, it's one, two, three, one, two, three, negative three, so three comma negative three. How about I just label it right here? Three comma negative three. If we plug three in for the x, y equals negative two-thirds times three minus one. You'll notice the threes divide out. Negative two minus one is negative three, just like we expected for our y value. This equation will give us all the points on the line. The slope-intercept equation, if we know the slope and the y-intercept, is y equals mx plus b.